guys, welcome back to my channel and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Asian share markets were barely positive while the dollar was slightly weaker on Thursday, with in investors nervously awaiting the U.S. Federal Reserve annual Jackson Hole conference for clues on how sharp future interest rate hikes might be. MCCI Broadest Index of Asia, Pacific shares outside Japan edged up 3% after U.S. stocks ended the previous census with mild gains. Australian shares climbed 7% while Japan's Nikkei stock index rose 52% and China's CSI 300 advanced 27%. The Federal Reserve's annual monetary policy conference in in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, is due to start on Friday. Investors now expect the Fed funds rate to peak at 3% in March 2023, up from 3% a fortnight ago, said Tapas Trickle, the economist director. Market moves at least are consistent with the hawkish pushback seen by Fed officials over recent weeks, he added. Interest rate features employ a 60% chance of a 75 basis point Fed hike in September. A rapid energy crisis is becoming an industrial crisis. The U.S. released its reverse second quarter GDP figures and more up to that weekly jobless claims. China's government tops up its stimulus package and Nvidia is hit by a new reduction to its sales guidance. Here's what you need to know in financial markets on Thursday, 25 August. A repress energy crisis is turning into an industrial crisis. Last week, some of the biggest zinc and aluminum smelters on the con continent shut down due to high power price. This week, the latest surge in gas price has forked fertilizer markets in Norway, the UK, and Poland to either capacity enabled to pass those price on to their farming customer base. A shortage of fertilizers threatens to put downward pressure on crop yields next year, which will keep food price higher than they would have been authorized. Benchmark European gas price top at 300 euros a megawatt our earlier Thursday, at those levels, Germany, Europe's largest economy, would have to spend over 8% of its GDP to sustain its gas habit. German GDP echoed out a 0% gain in the second quarter, but Evo's monthly business survey confirmed it on track for a drop of around 5% in the current quarter. To make matters worse, ICC Depends said it would have to delay the restart of several resorts which have been closed for maintenance this year, prolonging the course on electricity price. The U.S. will release figures for second quarter gross domestic product at with analysts expecting a small upward revision that will do little to change the broader narrative of an economy being deliberately slowed down by tiger monetary policy. The price components of the data are likewise too far in the past of affect the current outlook meaningfully. Of more interest will be the weekly jobless claims numbers. Was surprising strange last week supported arguments that the economy can withstand higher interest rates easily enough. 
The market remains focused on Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell's keynote speech at Dixon Hall on Friday, amid expectations that the next interest rate hike will be only 50 basis points after two successive 75 BP hikes. Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic, however, hold, told the Wall Street Journal in an inf- interview that a 75 basis point increase might be appropriate if, if the economy data stays strong. U.S. stock markets are set to open higher again, building on Wednesday's moderate gains helped by the positive outlook from software group Snowflake. Late on Friday, enterprise software makers then to be seen as proxies for business investment, which appears to be held up better than Ferret. Workday, any, another company in that segment reports after hours. Okay guys, maybe that's all from me. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.